So yes, poked and prodded is putting it mildly. Transforming breast cancer surgery in Alberta. That is the hope for a newly introduced $5.7 million pilot project, changing the way care is delivered to be more patient focused. Andrea is one of those patients who has endured the traditional preliminary breast cancer procedure, but is hopeful that she'll be included as part of this pilot project beginning this summer. Emotionally would just be easier to fight. You don't sleep at night because you've got night sweats or you, you know, you're out of breath climbing stairs. You can't walk the dog because he's pulling on your arm that has a pick line in it. Like there's, it's, it doesn't end at just chemo surgery radiation. Like that's not just what cancer is. It's, everything that goes along with it, right? This is transformative because we've turned the tables and we're using a technology that allows us to be patient focused. So ultimately, we'd like to have a seed placed at the biopsy when it's most accurate, right in the tumor, and then she can just come and have surgery. Dr. Kwan also notes if the surgeon opts not to do the procedure, the device can remain in the body forever. The painful injection that I mentioned, um, I can do it while she's asleep. It's the same metal tracer um, that goes into the breast and goes into the lymph node, maps it out, tells me which one to take out, but I don't have to do it when she's awake. I can do it when she's asleep. And so for her, she doesn't remember that part because it's not part of it. It's just part of the surgery. A welcome relief for Andrea. Get that put in. Then you're, then you're done. And then you, you literally, you've done your job and now you can just focus on fighting and not being poked and prodded again. In Calgary, Phoenix Phillips, City News. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you really are. Oh.